Let's take a walk. Why don't you come with me today? Ignore the traffic down the road. And we're going to go sit. I want to show you where I sit. I call it the peace chair. So how is everybody? I've missed you all. No more staycations. This is where I sit. There's two chairs down here now. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I like to come down here and just kind of veg. It's really pretty down here. Even though we've got a lot of goldenrod, it's just a nice space. Good morning, everybody. It's so nice to be back. Back to a routine of some sort. I really wanted to do more videos of me out in nature. Instead of upstairs in my little studio putting on makeup, because that's not all of who I am. I mean, think about it. We all have lives. Some of us have partners, some of us don't. Some of us work jobs, some of us don't. Particularly content creators, some of us are raising families <clears throat> and doing other side gigs. And so I really wanted you to see me in a different environment. So this video is not going to be me putting on makeup. In fact, today's video is going to be me in the raw. The only thing that I have on my face is my miracle cream to get ready for work, my hair up, my coffee in hand, and all of us here today. So what's on my mind? Well, a lot, actually. <laughs> a real lot. I feel like right now, in today's world, there is so much volatility. There's financial volatility, there's a housing market volatility, and it is volatile. Because we don't know how long this is going to last. Everything seems to be swinging up and down, up and down. And I don't know if it's just the energy at large, or if it's what's going on, you know, in the solar system. I do know that we are all connected with all of it. And so it stands to reason that we are going to feel that on our day-to-day -day living. And so I thought it would be great if I came down here in my peace chair and I pulled a few cards to get you through this week and to help me too because uh, no more vacations for us we really didn't go anywhere that wasn't by choice we could have gone but out of three weeks five days had no rain and even those days were iffy one of those days where the weather was really nice we had to travel and so we missed out on that whole day doing what we wanted to do and I've really given up I don't know about you I don't know if it's called giving up or letting go but I, I've let go of the fact that what is out there 
other people understanding how I personally feel. Do you ever get like that where you you want so badly for other people to understand how you feel, especially those that are closest to you, that love you? And ideally, it's a give and a take, a take and a give. You give, you receive. But when it comes to human beings and human existence, it doesn't always work that way. Which, to me, is very sad. But I've let go of that. I've let go of the fact that other people are not going to truly understand us the way we want to be understood. Which is why it is so important to have a connection with God, the angels, the universe, Jesus. That connection will, in time and with faith, help you as an individual to see more clearly, behave more clearly, be centered in who you are, and be able to withstand what life throws at you. But I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to give you some pipe dream and tell you that it's going to be wonderful and easy and perfect and everything else. Toxic positivity. It takes work. It takes inner work. It takes outer work. Going to a job. Or creating a job. And I think that the balance is with the universal laws when we give, we do receive. Those laws do not lie. People lie. I'm going to give you an example. Ten years ago, I was painting realms of origin paintings for people. And a woman gave me a $75 deposit on a painting. I have not finished that painting. I have taken it out. I have looked at it. Because in the process of that time, I got really busy. I got busy with my job. I got busy with my, my younger kids. I got busy with grandchildren. I got busy with my husband's business. I got busy with uh, painting soul auras. And so her painting got pushed aside. And it wasn't until recently that was hanging over my head. Now, some people might say $75, whatever. No. $75. If I gave somebody $75 as a deposit to put down on something, you bet your butt that I would want what it is. But this woman, being the patient, loving woman that she is, and understands how things work, never bugged me, ever. And so I reached out to her and I gave her two options. We decided that I'm going to send her back the $75. And I'm going to continue to paint this painting. And when the time comes, when it's finished, if she still wants it, she can pay me the full price. But if she doesn't want it, that's perfectly fine. I can sell it. Somebody might want it. But neither here nor there. That energy, that lower vibration energy that was hanging over my shoulder has been released. Because today I send out the check. 
she's going to get her money back. And out of all of the hundreds of paintings that I have done, hers is the only one that this has ever happened with. And that's because it's a very detailed painting. Now, I can finish it now, but I couldn't back then. And so my point is, sometimes we've got to step up to the plate and we've got to admit that we do not always do what we're supposed to do to push that energy where it needs to go. I don't know why I never came up with this idea within the last, well, it's probably eight years, not 10. But I don't know why. And I know that I kept her in, in the loop, right? I, I would send her emails telling her I hadn't forgotten about her. But the truth of the matter is, if it were me, if the tables were turned, I would be peeved. I wouldn't have been so gracious. And these are the things that we need to be honest with ourselves about. How do you behave when something is done to you or said to you that you perhaps have done or said to somebody else. Are you truly honest with yourself? Are you 111% honest? Are you being honest with yourself today? Are you happy where you are or are you lying to yourself about it? Are you afraid to make a shift? Are you waiting for the right time? Do you know if it's the right time? Can you feel it in here? Or are you waiting for everything to be perfect? Or are you doing what it takes? Today, right now, with faith, in love, in 111% honesty, trusting that the universe, God, Jesus, the angels, however you believe, this is how I believe. So I'm not going to tell you something different. I have guides too that help me on my journey. I believe in them. Are you trusting? Are you putting money where your mouth is? Do you have a belief system that you're telling everybody else that you have? Or maybe you're going to church, but you really don't believe it. You're just kind of doing it because this is where you are. This is the conditioning that you've had all through the years. And some things, they don't happen overnight. That's what gets me upset about toxic positivity. Toxic positivity is the unrealistic expectation that something is going to happen because you're being super positive about it and you're ignoring any Thing else that's going on around you. Now, there are times when we all do that because we have this innate knowing. But toxic positivity can be so damaging because it can stop you from advancing in life because of some pipe dream that you heard on the internet on YouTube and it happened for somebody else but you've been doing this and it's not happening for you are you open 
for changes? Or are you happy with where you are right now? Because no two lives are the same. And even though universal laws do not change, and God is always constant, right? You might not be where you're supposed to be. And the only way to know that is to take time to gain some clarity. And it does take time. And it does take work. And it doesn't happen overnight. So let's pull Oracle of the Fairies cards. I'm going <laughs> to, I didn't even shuffle these. I pulled them out and I'm going to show this one to you. It's called, I hope you can see it, Nature's Signs. Where are we right now? We're in nature. You can't make this stuff up. Be receptive to the subtle messages from nature. As you go about your day, nature talks to us continually. We need only to open our hearts and minds. Basically, it's grounding. If you can get out in nature, if you can put a peace chair somewhere where no one else can go, or maybe they can go, but You've got to make it a boundary. This is my peace chair. And when I come down here to gain clarity and peace, I really need you to respect that. Some people can't respect boundaries. They don't know how to. They were never taught. And they might be a narcissist. So you've got to do something about that. Right? You've got to do something about that. So let's shuffle and see what other cards we get for today. It's so nice to see you in a different environment. It really is. Protection. Protection. See the fairies in a circle. Protection. Who do you hang out with? Who is your community? Do you have like-minded people that you get to spend time with? Are you always expecting the people in your life to think and be exactly the way you are? They're not going to be. But you can find your own tribe. And I, I use that term loosely because to me the word tribe leaves people out. And I don't like to leave people out. I like the door to always be open for people to come in and leave at will. I like the word community. Community means just that. It's a community. It's a place where people can go to be safe, to feel protected, to be loved, to be around people that share the same beliefs. And even if they don't, they still welcome you and love you. The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. You are being asked before embarking on anything to be protected, to be surrounded spiritually for your highest good and for the greater good of everyone around you. So this card tells me you are being protected. You are. And if you notice all of the colors, all of the colors, this means that as you open, just ask for protection. Be specific and let it go. Okay, what's the next card? And then we will pull 
a final messages of light card. And I will bid you all well. Send you blessings. <laughs> what did I just say? Ask for help. So it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to ask for protection. It's okay to express what your needs are. And be open to that. Angels are celestial beings who protect everyone. And the fairies say, now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. I love this card. I love this card because we have a fairy and we have an angel. And I've told you in the past that they work together. Angels, they're high up. They're way up, right? Fairies, they're in, you know, I don't want to say Middle Earth, but they are in the middle. They're between Earth and Heaven. And a lot of fairies have, still have, they have egos. So they're different than angels. Angels don't have egos. Angels are pure. And you guys can believe how you want. My focus is, is that when I call upon angels and I believe in God, that God's not going to send me a stone. He's not going to send me something evil. It's that simple. It's really that simple. So don't think and, and, and go too deep into that. That's dangerous. Okay, I'm not even going to pull a card. Look at what the bottom card says. You know, I just grabbed these and threw them in my bag. Openness. Openness. I'll hold it here so you can read it. Notice the door. If one door closes, another opens. I trust the universe. I trust myself and I trust life. I have faith that something even better is coming. I let go and reconnect with the flexibility that opens me to infinite possibilities. What did I say? If you're open, right, things are going to come your way. But you must be open. But toxic positivity is having your mind set on that one thing and not being open to anything else. And you just keep, you know, you just... When we're open, we allow. And what isn't serving us, we can let it go. And we can turn and move to what is. I let go and reconnect with the flexibility that opens me to infinite possibilities. I welcome with humility and without judgment all the doors that God opens before me. Let's look at just this picture. I hope you can see it because the sun is behind me. I should have turned my chair. So that's it for today, my friends. Be well, be blessed, be beautiful because you are. Please subscribe to my channel. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video today and click the notification bell to all. I'm eclectic. I've always been eclectic and I can't be something I'm not. So what you're going to see on my channel is a little bit of makeup, a little bit of creativity with the makeup, card reading, videos like today, maybe some new clothes, maybe some new products. Speaking of products, I have 
four or five products that I received during last week's staycation that I am going to be uploading a video for each product and some of those products have affiliate codes so look forward to those videos in the next day or two I can't make a promise to do a video every day right now ignore that noise <laughs> something's going on down the street I can't make a promise because right now until mid-September my work gets so busy and as it begins to wind down I will be trying to post a video every day except for on weekends and possibly even one on the weekends it will be something so until the next video I want you to know that you are loved by so many beings that you can't see and I love you too I love you energetically spiritually and sometimes love can be tough sometimes love has to be tough in order for love to be able to advance further so I'm not always gonna be peaches and cream but I'll do my best okay my friends until next time you know I love you I love you for real real love is not toxic positivity real love is openness honesty 111 percent real love is not fake real love gives sometimes and receives sometimes that's what real love is and it never ends Bye-bye.